G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in once again to Perth Rest Oz RC. Now in front of me I've got another GT Power uh, balance charger. Uh, my good friends at GT Power just sent me off another large uh, package with quite a few of their products. Uh, I'll put a screenshot up actually of some of the upcoming reviews that you're going to see on the channel. So uh, as you can see they've sent me a few chargers to review. Uh, some lighting kits and some other cool stuff. So anyway guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and also click the notification bell, that way you won't miss out on any new videos on the Perth West Oz RC channel. Now today we have the GT Power C6D Mini. Now this is a very portable uh, little uh, hobby grade charger. Um, I actually reviewed the C6D Pro, which was my last GT Power Charger review. That was about a month ago. Uh, it was a larger unit than this one, and that one actually ran off a Bluetooth app. So it was a really good charger. Um, you didn't have to be in proximity uh, near the charger to charge up your batteries. It ran off a Bluetooth app, and I'll leave a link to that video up in the top right hand corner of the screen you can check that one out guys okay i'll also leave a link to my full playlist of gt power products i've reviewed quite a few of their products now uh, including lighting kits and uh, sound effect kits as well for your rc so i'll leave a link to my playlist in the top right hand corner of the screen as well and you can check out my full playlist of gt power products so as i was saying guys this is a small uh charger here it runs 6 amps, 60 watts. As you can see, it runs all these different style of batteries that are very common in the hobby, from LiPos to LiPo high voltage, lithium ions, nickel metal hydrides, NICADs, PP batteries, and the life batteries. Now on the back here, we have some more information. We've got a diagram of the charger itself and some more specs here. As you can see, 60 watt maximum for charging, 10 watts for discharging. The charging current range is 0.1, of an amp to six amps and the discharging range is 0.1 to two amps for discharging. It can charge up to eight cell nickel metal hydride or NICAD batteries and up to four cell uh, lithium batteries, lithium polymer batteries, so LiPos, all right? The weight of this is pretty light because like I said before, it's a small unit and it's only weighs at 302 grams. So let's have a look what's in the box and then we'll go through some of the functions of this little C6D mini charger okay guys so here's everything that comes included with this charger first off we've got the c6d mini instruction booklet here definitely give this one a read guys and uh, before you start charging I'll take you through all the options and settings of this charger and like all other gt power products these are very detailed and descriptive on all the different uh, settings okay guys so really good booklet just like all their charger products we also have the power cable, okay, that goes straight into your wall. This is the Australian plug, so they sent me the Australian uh, wall adapter here. Uh, you probably get one that suits your country, whether you be in the US, Europe, okay? So, uh, yeah, or you might have to use an adapter. They also include a XT60 to Dean's plug cable here, which is good to see because uh, most of my actual batteries, are, with all my RCs, well, most of my RCs has this Dean's T plug. Okay, uh, if you don't run those types of batteries, you can actually buy an adapter uh, from the XT60, as you can see on the front here. It does plug into XT60 only, and whatever connector you actually use, your favorite connector. So here's the charger here, guys. As you can see, it's pretty small and portable. Uh, pretty much fits in the palm of your hand. It's that small, uh, nice portable little charger. We have all the status buttons here, okay, for different battery type, stop button, decrease, increase, start modes, okay. And they also have a second purpose as an enter button in the status. Uh, it's got the 6 amp, 60 watt on the front. Uh, here is your balance lead uh, port where you plug in your balance lead to charge. This is where you plug in that cable that I just showed you down there to charge up your batteries. And this is a temperature sensor port that you can plug into as well. On this side, we have the exhaust fan, uh, so that will keep everything cool. And uh, on this side is just uh, ventilation, okay? There's no fan on this side. And here is where you plug in the cable, okay? More venting underneath, 
some nice little rubber feet as well to put on the uh, desk here without it going anywhere and uh, yeah let's start uh, charging up a lithium ion pack I have one here so I'm going to demonstrate this battery charger with this pack okay guys I'm going to power the unit on comes up the main screen as you can see here we've got the user program and meter option here now I've just uh, leaned it against the box here and tilted the uh, charger on an angle here so you can see the screen hopefully pretty good on uh, the camera here so uh, we can go into this one and this will show you the different cells okay so it is a two cell lithium ion pack as you can see it shows cell one 3.97 cell two at 3.99 it will show you also the main voltage or the total voltage at 7.97 and the highest uh cell 3.99 and 3.97 for the lowest uh, cell reading in volts all right so we can get out of that press this one again uh, the battery type uh, button here on the left you can test out the internal resistance so we'll press enter and it says please wait as it uh, measures the internal resistance so as you can see here cell one is showing uh, internal resistance of 51 and 34 for the second cell okay we'll go back we'll press battery type again we'll go to user program setup you can also change the check time here okay so you can check it change it up or down i'll just leave it at 10 minutes press it again and we got uh lipo memory or different battery memory so you can uh, change the different charging modes here so you can scroll through life battery lithium ion which is which is what i want so i'm going to press enter and then we can scroll through the different charge modes so charge balance fast charge storage discharge just like any other uh, hobby grade charger okay so uh i'll go on charge mode i'll do it at uh 1.5 amps and i've got to change that from four cell to two cell hold it down battery check and uh, we're ready to go there you have it it's starting to charge it up so I believe if you want to see the different cells you press the status button here the plus one and you can see cell one 4.08 and 4.09 for cell two all right guys and then you press it again and we'll go back to the main display screen so you can see it's charging rather quickly there is a timer it's been going for less than a minute now so i'll just press stop i'll go over to balance charge fast charge storage rate i'll go to uh, discharge as well so i'll go to balance charge here and go to fast charge so i might do that one uh, we'll press start okay i'll do it at 1.5 amps again and reduce that to two cell hold it down exactly the same procedure and it'll fast charge now okay so as you can see you know the counter running it's already charged uh four milliamp hours five is counting rather quickly because it's on a fast charge now and you've got the indicator of what charging mode fas is uh for fast charge okay so let's go to uh discharge now so we'll go through the status we'll go to discharge all right so we'll uh just leave that one amp and we'll drop that down to 2s and here we go it's going to discharge the lipo now you see the voltage is dropping rather quickly so let me press this one and we'll check the cells individually yep 3.94 is going down on cell one and cell two is 3.96 from 3.97 so as you can see it's discharging this lithium ion pack now i could have set this is in discharge mode you can set it to storage rate mode 
which I won't bother showing you in this video, but storage rate mode will set it to 3.85 uh, volts, which is uh, the exact perfect storage uh, that you want to keep all your batteries, especially the LiPos. Lithium ion packs are sort of more lenient to have uh, a little bit extra charging 3.85, even though I do recommend uh, leaving them at proper storage rate. But if you're, they're a little bit over or a little bit under, you're not going to damage these uh, lithium ion cells uh, like you would an overcharged lipo that's been sitting for quite a while uh, before you use it or a, you know, a lipo that is being discharged, but especially below 3.7 volt. Um, you can damage them easily. They can either puff up or they just, yeah, the cells will just die out. So, I mean, it's always recommended to charge up all your batteries at storage rate, even these ones. I like to keep them at uh, 3.85. As you can see, I wasn't far off. Uh, this one was a little bit overcharged over that 3.85, but it's not going to hurt it at all. All right, that's about it. Okay, so... All the functions are very similar to most of the GT power chargers, except this is just on a miniature scale, a very portable charger, as you can see. It only weighs 300 grams. Perfect to take with you anywhere, guys. Uh, this does run only on AC power, so um, you cannot run it off a DC power source, like another LiPo, for example. But it's a neat little charger that you can, uh, yeah, just have in your workshop here and doesn't take up much space and, uh, it's got all the different modes that you can uh, charge up your batteries rather conveniently. So anyway guys, um, I'll leave a link as always to this particular charger, the C6D Mini. Thanks very much for watching. I'd like to thank GT Power for sending this one out once again. And uh, like I said, there'll be many more reviews on their products coming up in the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, so yeah, check the links below guys. Uh, I'll go and find various websites where you can get this particular charger. Also leave a link to the main GT Power website as well, so you can check that out for all their different products. They don't just do battery chargers, they do quite a few different products. Uh, so uh, yeah, you can go and check that out as well. So if you're new to the channel guys, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and uh, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be informed every time I drop a new video. And as always guys, enjoy the hobby, and I'll catch you on the next video. Until then, Happy RCing and be safe.